question usually asked is how to tame and recognize the false self, the, the, the ego, the tumor. And the answer is to the, the, the false self always wants to validate its existence through actions. So it pushes one through whatever suggestions into the actual action, action upon suggestion. So to validate its existence, it needs action because without action, it doesn't exist and it doesn't, it can't validate its existence. It gains power only through the compulsive action or reaction. So it pushes one's mind to act. Then it feels like it's alive. So in order to counteract the false self and heal oneself, one can only hold on to the higher being, higher self. And when one is pushed by this compulsive or unhealed self into actions, one should ask oneself, am I peace or am I anxiety? If the answer is I'm in anxiety, one should tame oneself, lay oneself on the bed and stop acting, abstain from acting on upon any suggestion and just focus within on the higher self and say, I am safe, I am gratitude. This present moment does not define my future. I am grateful and safe in this present moment and not to act, to abstain because we can counteract the false self and dissolve the tumor only by suffocating it through the non-action, through stillness, through um, higher awareness, by becoming aware if we can't really distinguish whether it is our true self, higher self, or it is the false self, we have to look at our feeling. If, if our feeling is no, no peace, no, um, you know, patience, no higher awareness, no, um, you know, contentment, then it is the, the limited self. It is the ego. It is the tumor because uh, it is the ego when it's when it needs supply, it pushes us into the restless and anxious mode. The higher self is not anxious. The higher self is not restless. The higher self does not need anything from the projected reality, and so it's a it's an internal subtle non-action. But the limited self needs energetic supply from the external reality because it's discontent, disconnected from the higher source. And so in order to counteract it, one's consciousness needs to remind itself that it's the higher being, it's higher self. And that higher self is pure love, contentment, wholesomeness, and peace. And so we can only reconnect with that higher self and dissolve the ego in this very moment or in any moment by turning our focus within, bringing awareness into the body, into ourselves, and starting generating the, aware, the, the waves of the higher awareness, gratitude, stillness, peace, reminding ourselves of contentment, maybe refocusing onto something that would remind ourselves of our true being, which is bliss, contentment, balance or which would inspire us to look within and to just suddenly get absorbed and refocus from that compulsion or reactive mode. Only this way we can gradually re recognize the tantrums of the limited self, of this childish uh, self, of the tumor of the self, which is veiling our perception. And this narcissism and actually dissolve it fully by establishing ourselves in the higher awareness and allowing it to permeate our entire being and dissolve this tumor without return. That way we can understand that what is true wholesome being and that becomes our foundation for further spiritual evolution, for high spiritual knowledge where the tumor is dissolved and not trying to create another self, another idea, narrative or paradigm paradigm out of the the higher forms of knowledge. 
If that is not dissolved, then the higher forms of knowledge become dangerous because the tumor will always process them as the means of power and will try to prolong its life by using this knowledge for self-gratification and for some sort of action or selfish um, pursuits. Thank you.